Hey, Trip Review fans, of course, I am not Trip Reviews, I am his son, Alan. Of course, I run a couple of different channels on YouTube, but I wanted to make this video for my dad's channel. Today, I am going to be breaking down a fantastic ship that nobody's really been on yet, the Mardi Gras. And this is a fun ship, and I am going to be talking to you about the playground, which is my favorite part, because I love basketball. I also kind of like golf. And... This is just a fun overall ship. So let's get down and let's check out the Mardi Gras. Uh, at least their fun area. So let's get down let's check it out. Okay, so this is the Mardi Gras. The newest ship to the Carnival lineup. Now what do we see when it comes to the ship? We have a pool right in the middle like they always do. Now this is going to be a massive pool. There's also a pool at the back. Very similar to the Carnival Magic that we were just recently on uh, a few months ago before all of this pandemic stuff. And of course, this is going to be one of the first ships back after the pandemic. Now, when they start zooming in on their actual ship, what do we see? We see a pool play area. This is where all that water dumping stuff is going to be. Now, when we start getting closer, I really like this review that they've done. So, they have a cool little roller coaster style thing along the outside of the ship. There's a lot of really cool things that they have on this ship that some other carnival ships do not have. So when they are going along this cool little roller coaster thing, I would assume that they would be strapped on and I would assume uh, to empty your pockets because uh, the water likes to eat your change and uh, stuff. From there, they start zooming into the basketball court, which is where I spend most of my time. Now, when it comes to the basketball court, this is all nice and good with the way it looks, but I can definitely tell you right now, there are a few things that will be changed in the real life version of this from this cartoon version, and that is going to be the basketball court itself. Here we see the high school level three point line. If they have that, I would be personally really surprised, and there's a reason for that. So, on the Carnival Magic, there was a big, picture of Shaq currently missing from this video will he be there who knows we'll know once they're once they basically get cruising going once again now on the carnival magic they have an NBA level three-point line and no high school three-point line if you don't know the the NBA level three-point line is a bit farther than the high school level three-point line does that matter to kids it does for us adults and people who have played at that level or can shoot really well the NBA range three doesn't make any difference at all when they start zooming in it does show that there are basketball games happening between two kids now this is something that I've seen on some ships and that is the different games that are going to be happening there so one of the things that is really cool is if you can have somebody like myself who loves to play basketball and who is always on the court I'm always trying to get into new games try to start a new three on three or a four on four game and then at nighttime there's usually games that happen at around midnight 11 o'clock p.m. sometimes sometimes midnight where you can get in and play some games now on the Carnival Magic, some of the actual people who work on the ships, the, the Filipinos, they would come up and play. If you don't already know, the Philippines, they are just crazy about basketball, and they were actually pretty good players, and it was a lot of fun playing against them. One thing that you will notice about Filipino basketball players is that they are really shifty when they start crossing over, so keep that in mind. Try not to break your ankles. But... This is a lot of fun. If you can get somebody or if you can get a group of people who can just like to play and say, hey, like, let's meet here at 11 o'clock tonight and we'll play a game, that is a lot of fun. We used to, we were playing on the Magic from, like, I think it was, like, 11.30 p.m. up until, like, 1 o'clock in the morning. It was fantastic fun. Now, from there, they do run other things on that basketball court. They do things like a volleyball tournament. They also do things like dodgeball tournaments. It's a lot of fun. Sometimes there's a bump tournament when it comes to basketball. So keep that in mind. Let's get back and let's break down a little bit more of this level. So there's going to be zip lighting on this ship as well. That's going to be a lot of fun, especially along the side. I wonder if they'll actually open that up when you're in port because that would be kind of cool. You'd be able to get even higher than normal on that ship and you'd be able to see off into the distance. Going along, we see that we're back on that roller coaster, but now we're moving on to the slides. Now, according to actual videos from Carnival, 
and that is they they say that the slides are not just for kids it's for adults too now for me i am okay I, I don't need to go on to the slides but let's see how many slides do they have on this ship according to this cartoon from here we have three main slides which is going to be very interesting they'll be able to get a lot of people through very quickly they also have some smaller slides for some smaller kids and then they have the patented carnival bucket that likes to dump water randomly on people from there we sli we slide in and we get to see two unsuspecting people get soaked by the water and then we are back onto the actual roller coaster and now they're showing that there's going to be a mini golf course now mini golf is a lot of fun especially if you can beat your kid like that guy just did and the kid was happy about losing that game anyways that is the top level the play area of the carnival mardi gras and i hope that you have enjoyed today's video of course hit that like button and subscribe give my dad some love on this channel i'll see you guys again uh, sometime in the future maybe